Hey everyone, it's Byron. Once again, I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. I'm going to talk to you about something today that I think is very important. Sometimes we see things such as false teachers, false doctrines, etc. Sometimes we just wonder how in the world. And then we can see like Matthew 24, Jesus says, you know, false teachers will, based on the scripture, you can say false teachers, false prophets, etc. are going to get worse. And I just want to share an experience that I had in my life that helped me to understand some of the ways that things are going. I want to preface my personal experience by experience I had not, you know, probably within the last four years. I actually was in a city, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and there was a shooting that happened in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and it drew a crowd, a national crowd. And there were people that were bussed in to Baton Rouge, Louisiana to do protests. And it was very well known in the Baton Rouge area, the protesters are not Baton Rouge people, or at least most of them, the instigators of the, the, the thing. I heard through media, etc. there's a man named George Soros who actually pays to ship in protesters here and there. He stirs up all kinds of stuff. Um, so we realize that there's money involved in stirring up issues. You know, it's funny that the, the, the shooting that occurred in Baton Rouge was uh, an incident where a black man was shot by two white police officers. Um, and then during the protest, uh, one of the guys that came in with a gun shot black police officer, a black man shot black police officers. I had a, a friend of mine whose brother-in-law was actually killed in the confrontation. But I believed that protesters don't just show up from around the country. They have some type of um, funding. And I've heard through various channels, uh, mostly on YouTube, things like that, that George Soros is involved in it. You can see the same thing if you turn on any of the major networks and you watch the news. <clears throat> there are people being paid to stir up strife, people being paid to do stupid stuff. Nancy Pelosi was probably paid to tear up um, Trump's speech or whatever, and I'm not pro-Trump. I'm just, I'm pro-Jesus, you know? But stuff like that happens. It's stirring the pot, just continually stirring the pot. I had a friend of mine who, um, he and I became very close. This is the second incident and not related to this first one, the shooting in Baton Rouge. He was doing videos on YouTube. <clears throat> I was doing videos on YouTube, and then I started seeing similarities between his and mine, most particularly tsunami. We, we both had a tsunami dream. Um, we ended up getting on the phone talking, you know. We talked for probably a year, year and a half, off and on, um, about what the Lord had been showing us. And then one day he called me. He was freaking out. I mean, he, he wasn't right. He was disturbed, extremely disturbed. Byron, I've been approached by some people. Not approached through the news media, not approached through YouTube, but approached in person. I've been approached by people to do videos for them, and they're going to pay me. I said, Byron, but they're not going to want me to do videos that share the truth. They're going to want me to do videos that mislead people. <clears throat> I don't know if that was my last conversation with my friend, but I do know this. Shortly thereafter, if not that one, shortly thereafter, we had our last conversation. I haven't heard from him. That was probably, we probably stopped talking in 2012, 13. Haven't heard from him, hadn't seen from him, just like, oh, I don't know what happened. But there's big money out there paying for big things to happen. And um, as it relates to false teachers and, and people that, um, you would, you would say, well, maybe they're they're trying to lead Christians astray. Uh, I just want to say this. I have a lot of Russian dreams. I have, you know, dreams of Russians here, Russians there. And I've, I've realized <clears throat> over the course of time, all the dreams about Russians, so, uh, soldiers mainly, but all the dreams about them are not limited to the physical military type people, but they're also included in false teaching. What I'm saying is, it's like an infiltration, a foreign infiltration. I got an old video called Foreign Infiltration. 
And I want to just read this quote by Vladimir Lenin. He said, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. Now, that's very interesting. I'm old enough to remember, you know, that I, I grew up with people that were involved in the Cold War. I was in the Cold War. I know a lot of people were saying there's an infiltration, Communist Party, etc. Well, there's an infiltration in the church. Um, there's an infiltration among us. And, and I know just through my friend that people are being paid, you know, not my friend. He's, I don't know where he's at. He's not doing videos, but people are actually being paid to mislead Christians. So you, you, you hear Jesus in Matthew 24, you read about Jesus talking about false prophets, false apostles. And I've watched this. I'm like, man, there's a group of people that are tightly knit. They refer to each other. They all have the same teaching style and it's all false. And they, try to get their little families together, say on YouTube or something like that. But they each teach one thing that sounds really good and then follow it with damnable heresies. And, you know, I've seen some videos of people saying, well, they get paid for the advertising that goes on within their channel and it's a significant amount of money. Well, I think it's worse than that. I think people are being paid to crank out videos of mistruth. That's what I think. And I've looked at it for quite a while. Talked to somebody all the way back in 2012, 13, who was approached, watched the protest go on and heard that George Soros pays to have protesters shipped around the country. <clears throat> you might want to say the love of money is the root of all evil, but these guys with this big money can make a lot of things happen that just don't make sense. So I want to read some scripture real quick. Um, this scripture right here, to me, it fits. Um, to you, maybe it doesn't. But there's a caution in here, or there's a teaching in here that you really need to pay attention to. And, and this is what it says. It's Romans 16, verse, 20, uh, verse 17 and verse 18. And Paul writes, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them. That means decide who they are. Basically, put a identification mark on them so that you know these people, okay? Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ but their own belly. Belly? That's where your appetite is. They don't serve the Lord Jesus Christ. They serve their appetite. And maybe their appetite is money. Maybe their appetite is stardom, fame. So it says, For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. I can tell you one of the tactics that's very common being used widely not just one person, but widely. There's a group of people. <clears throat> if you listen to the first portion of their videos, you're going to hear oh, the scripture, the gospel, the portion of the gospel that leads you to salvation in Jesus Christ. You can't, you can't fight that. They call themselves grace preachers. Paul preached grace. But just because they're saying, calling themselves grace preachers doesn't mean they can't, within the next sentence, present to you a damnable heresy, such as the pre-tribulation rapture teaching. I heard one of them yesterday, spent, he spent six minutes basically just going through what verses you could believe and, you know, reach salvation in Jesus Christ. And then say the rapture will occur before the events of Matthew 24 so that Matthew 24 doesn't occur, doesn't apply to Christians. And I can tell you just very briefly, uh, Matthew 24 states that, uh, Jesus states that people will be persecuted for his name's sake, for Christ's name's sake. Anybody that's persecuted for the name of Christ is a Christian. 
This person says straight up and down. Matthew 24 doesn't apply because the Christians will be raptured. Anyway, <clears throat> I just want to put that into your mind at the current time. You may be seeing people that are saying things and sometimes they'll say things and what they're saying the Bible says isn't what the Bible says. Like they'll go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and they'll read you scripture that doesn't say it's the pre-tribulation rapture. But when they finish reading it and they'll say, see, the Bible says we're going to be raptured out before these things. I mean, they'll say stupid stuff in there. It's not just because they just completely don't understand in all cases. It's because they want people to be led astray. I got to find a scripture here. Um, because these guys said the, the, um, in the, in the scripture, they said that the resurrection had already occurred and it ruined people's face. Let me pull that up. Okay, in second Timothy chapter two, I'm just going to start at verse 17. Paul writes this, and their word will eat as doth a canker of whom is Han Hanameas and Philetus. I don't know if I said those names, right? Who concerning the truth have erred. I just read the same thing. People, these people say things that cause divisions. But this says, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrown the faith of some. Overthrown the faith of some. I'm here to tell you this. When these things start coming on this earth, <clears throat> such as are mentioned in Matthew 24, and we know that Jesus Christ stated um, after the tribulation of those days, then the sun will be darkened and the moon shall not give his light and you'll see the sun, the son of man coming and he shall send his four angels, his angels to the four winds of the earth and they shall gather together his elect. When you know that's the resurrection, when you know that's the gathering together and somebody just bold faced says, no, Matthew 24 has nothing to do with Christians. It has to do with what's going to happen after the rapture. You know, this person is, is either one crazy or two crazy about money or three crazy about serving another God, another gospel. So I just want you to be aware of what I personally have run into. I knew, knew someone, that person is no longer visible. I don't know why, uh, but I knew someone who was offered money. And I, he said he's refusing. He's going to refuse it. I never heard him back. Anyway, you have people teaching damnable heresies that are being paid, and they're being paid more than what you're going to get from these little ads that run. You know, They're getting paid from big money boys running the synagogue of Satan the learned elders of Zion, those people who are dedicated to bringing uh, terror to this earth. They call it the reign of terror. And the big reign of terror is going to be the tribulation of those days, man. So uh, keep the faith. Don't be simple and get misled by these people. Mark those people who teach things that are contrary to the gospel, or to the, the what Paul has preached. Um, let me pull that up real quick. Make sure I, contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. Just avoid those people. Move on. You know, I know I was called to point them out, say things about them. You may not have been. So just avoid those people and stick with the truth. Scripture tells you after the tribulation of those days, we're going to be uh, called up together to be with the Lord. No reason in messing with those guys out there trying to cause divisions doing other things. No reason. Especially when they have enough knowledge to teach good certain portions of the gospel and then make a horrible mess of the other portions. 